How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate the play rate in Reaper, which is going to allow us to create start and stop tape effects or even create scratching. So if we go down here on our transport bar, this little slider here, that's the play rate. We could adjust it to change the play rate of our project. Let's hear what this one sounds like now. Now let's raise the rate up a bit, or bring it down, so we can speed it up or slow it down. We could also type in our changes right here. So if we want to go to 0.9, we'll go to 1.1 to speed it up, or we'll double our speed by typing in 2. We could put it back to its default just by double clicking it. And if you notice, when it's not being changed, it stays this gray color. So it doesn't stand out. But if you make any changes, it turns green. This will alert us if we accidentally changed it, as that can sometimes happen. So let's put it back to one. So back to our start. And let's right click this and see there's a few other options. We could set it back to one, but we could also increase it by a semitone, which will change the key by a half step. So like C to C sharp, we'll go higher, go one more for a whole step. We could do the same thing in reverse. Go down one semitone. Now, if you notice, as we're changing this, we're also changing the pitch. If you don't want that behavior, you just want it to speed up or slow down, but maintain the pitch, we could choose this right here. Preserve pitch in audio items when changing the play rate. So if we choose this and change it to say 1.2, it's going to be faster, but the key will be the same. Or if we go to 0 0.8, the same thing. Now, if we find a tempo we like by moving this around, go a bit faster, we want to preserve that tempo, but we don't know what the tempo is. We could right click over here and choose this option apply play rate to the current BPM. Right now, it's 90 beats per minute, but if we change it over here, it then applies that tempo change to the BPM. So it's now 112. It reset the rate and changed the tempo instead. Now we could also change the range. So if we choose the option down here, you could fine tune it. Or well, if we choose this option, it's going to be more coarse. Slight moves create big changes. So that's the rate slider. But where it gets really interesting is we could automate it. And to do that, we have to see our master track. So let's go up here to view and view the master track. We go to the envelopes and we'll notice there's two envelopes that only exist on this track, the master track, the tempo map and the play rate. So if we choose the play rate, we get an envelope that we can automate. So we can draw on it to create changes. But where it gets fun is creating tape-based effects, like slowing it down or speeding it up. So let's undo that, and let's zoom in real close, create a few points by holding down shift here and here, 
and let's use this envelope to slow the song down. But let's first change the option here. Turn off preserving the pitch. So that's going to sound like the tape is slowing down. Let's make that a bit longer. Or we could do the opposite by speeding it up. Bring it up to exactly one. Go a bit shorter. And we could simulate the tape slowing down and speeding up. Let's clear it and do a slow down and a speed up. We'll create three points, bring this one down to the middle. to create those effects, which we can also use for creating interesting fills or transitions. Let's go to the beginning of this and grab this drum hit from here to here. Let's copy it. Let's duplicate it a few times, create a fill. And now we can slow it down Let's start here and slow it down in the beginning to create some interesting time-based fills. We'll do the opposite. Start out faster. What we could also do with it is create scratching. Simulate using a turntable and scratching a record. Let's clear this. Let's grab one of these. Let's move it over here. Let's duplicate it. Let's glue it. And then let's reverse it in the media item properties. So now it sounds like this. So it sounds like we're moving a record forward and then backwards. Let's get a bit closer and put them next to each other like this. That's a bit fast, but now if we use the play rate, we could simulate what happens when you're actually scratching a record. So let's create three points and pull the middle one down. Sounds like you're scratching a record. And you can change how fast or slow it is by adjusting how close these are together. Move this over here. And now when you're done and you're happy with it, just select it, go to render, and we can render that to a new track in the project, and we can add scratching to our song. Here's our scratch, and let's place it in a good spot. And we can add it to the beginning of our song. Pretty cool effect. And we could scratch with any source that you may have. Could be a vocal, could be a drum beat, could be a guitar. And we could add it very easily back into our project. So that's pretty much it. That's automating the play rate in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!